Hey guys, it's um, Expert on Tech, and today I'll be showing you how you can jailbreak your iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, iPod Touch 2G non MC model, and your iPhone 3G. So, the first thing you do is download Snowbreeze by going to this site, ih8snow.com, and the O in snow is a zero. I'll put the link in the description so you click download and it will download it. It's right here. Looks like a snowflake. You double click on it. It will ask you to click OK. Click next. You have simple mode and expert mode. I'll be showing you expert mode. Click browse and find your IPSW. Uh, I'll give you links to these in the description. But I'm running an iPod Touch 2G. It will show you right here. You have to be pre jailbroken to use it. So you and you can't be jailbroken in spirit. So you click I understand. Click next. <laughs> click general. Blue arrow. Choose what you want to enable. You can have background, wallpaper, battery percentage, or native multitasking. I just want multitasking and battery. And nor only means you can click this. I'll tell you. It just means you can restore. It can restore if you want custom boot logos, but it won't wipe anything. So I just want those two. Click next. Just have Cydia. Click next. Click next. Then right here you can choose what custom boot logos. You can just disable these if you want. If you don't want these but I want my own so I'll be using these two click next and then you just click build IPSW and click next it will then build it patch the kernel do its thing um, now you have to be jailbroken in order for this to work, except if you're using iPod Touch 3G, uh, this is just like the Ponage tool that's on the Max, but it's just for the PC. So, if you want to see what you can do, you can go to your web browser and go to the iPhone Dev blog. You can go to the iPhone dev blog right here. Put a link in the description and it will show you what you can do right here. So it only works on the previous jailbroken 3GS device for 3GS. The iPhone 3G, you don't have to be pre jailbroken. And the iPod Touch 2G, you have to be jailbroken in order for it to work. But for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G, I would recommend using Red Snow just because it's easier and it doesn't require you to restore your firmware. So uh, you can watch my other video about that. This is mainly just for the iPhone 3GS. But when it finishes, this screen will come up. It'll tell you what to do. Connect your iPhone or iPod Touch and enter recovery mode. I would probably enter DFU mode just because you have a better chance of success that way. And then you just click OK and you restore on iTunes. So if you need help getting into DFU mode, you can click Help DFU mode and it will just tell you what to do right here. It will show you what to do. But yeah. And then what you, it brings it up, makes it on the desktop right here, Snowbreeze iPod Touch 2G. You just load up iTunes. And then you have your device loaded up. You click, click your iPod or iPhone and just hold down shift and click restore. So, just click shift, restore, then you find your IPSW right here, and then you just click 
open and yeah it will restore it so but I'm not gonna restore mine because I don't because I'm already jailbroken on 4.0 so I don't really want to restore mine and do it all over again but yeah you would just restore it and it should work just fine so if you have any questions leave it in the comments below if you have any other video suggestion leave it in the comments below so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe